We're back wrestling fans for the third time to charm. We will be waiting for Cha Cha Charlie shortly. <clears throat> We're going to put them in to a video chat on here. Right, we're going to put a video chat on here. Here we go, Cha Cha. Welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for having me. It's an honor to be a part of your show. Absolutely, sir. Well, First off, let's say congratulations to you winning the CCW title. Oh. Give me a moment. Sorry, friends, we're having technical difficulties. I'm going to get him on the phone. Give me one moment. Sorry, friends. Hello. Guys, Cha Cha Charlie in the flesh. Yeah, no, it's a pleasure to have you, sir. Uh, we have a few questions for you if you don't mind. All right, uh, first off, how did it feel to win the CCW Heavyweight Championship? It's one of the biggest moments uh, in my wrestling career. Um, you know, we need the champion on the 50th year anniversary of uh, the Postal Championship Wrestling is a lot. You know, they, they, they basically, believe in me, uh, I joined the group. A lot of champions like the Hardcore Santos, uh, the Gold. Stefan Guadalupe, Andrew Lee, Dustin Rhodes. They've been a lot of CCW champion. But for me to do it on the 15th anniversary season. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Jaden, do you have any questions for Cha Cha? Uh, yes, I do. Um, what made you get into wrestling? What made you want to become a wrestler? Well, I've been watching wrestling as a baby, as a little kid, just like you. <laughs> um, it's a part of my blood. It's a part of my family. My uncle was a wrestler. It was a moment in public. He was a wrestler against Jack Moreno, who was a famous Dominican wrestler. And uh, when I was born, I was born into it. Started watching it. I watched him wrestle independent. I also watched him watch, uh, wrestling in the big shows. You know, I got in the room as a little kid, and, and ever since, it's been in my, in my blood to wrestle. Oh, that sounds good. What, uh, who did you watch growing up as a wrestler? Uh, my, my favorite of all time is Randy Rose Hulk Hogan. But, um, I, I, I look back from that era, you know, Bret Hart, uh, Alex Vigler, uh, Sting, the NWO, uh, Paxton. Um, yeah, I go in the 1990s, uh, you know, and then going back, uh, I, I did watch a little bit of, uh, you know, how did I watch it more now. I watch more old school stuff now. Now that I'm a wrestler, um, you know the psychology type of thing. But you know, the '90s is my thing. Okay, no, that's good. We uh, we as wrestling fans too. You know, I, I I'm an old old school fan. You know, I, Hulk Hogan is my all time favorite. Yeah, new school. You know, he's new school. He likes the John Cena and Randy oh, Orton. Seth you know, Alex. Seth Rollins. Seth Alex. You know what I mean? I like the Dusty Rose and. Uh, 
<clears throat> excuse me, the Iron Sheiks and Roddy Piper. You know, I also was an NWO fan. I went to many events. I went to WrestleMania. I took my son to WrestleMania, uh, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam. We've been there at all, you know what I mean? And then seeing you guys in this indie, these indie promotions, you know, I see the way you guys put yourself out there, you know, with the talent you guys have, the the way you put your bodies on the line and the passion you got have you guys have for this business. So we enjoy watching that and we definitely gonna be enjoying watching you June in June in USA Pro Wrestling. Um yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. And okay. there's a lot of... We'll be there. We'll definitely be there watching. But there's a lot of fans out there that want to see you fight Scott Steiner at USA Pro Wrestling. So I think that would be a very interesting match between you two. You know, Scott Steiner is a strong guy. You're strong as well, and you got that agility. So it kind of pans out between uh, you and him. What do you think about that, about the fans wanting you to fight Scott Steiner? I saw him evolve with the big pop of pump and you know he became a meal. Uh me versus him, I, I didn't think it would be the ultimate fate with the two match, the ultimate good tag versus tag fight. Um I think I I, I think it would be a great match. That's what the fans want. I think maybe trying to give them what what they want, you know? No, no, de definitely, I, definitely, man. It's I think I'll be good. We'll we'll see. Well, if you think, well, well if, if that match does happen, you know, that dream match, do you think uh, you pick up that victory? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to start with some weights and start hitting the gym a little bit harder. But, uh, you know, I'm fast. I'm, I'm, I'm very agile. I'm, uh, you know, I could definitely see me beating Scott Steiner. Um, I'm not going to be able to beat him. Well, if you, if you hit that mango, mango splash, it's, it's over. The mango splash. Yeah, we saw that, but right? he he mentioned about that. Uh, yeah. How did that feel when you did the mongoose splash off of the steel cage? Uh, it, it was when I was up there. It was a little scary. You know, the, the cage was shaking, a little wobbly, but I gained my balance, saw the vision, hit the mongoose splash, um, and that's how I got the victory. Well, my, my my first thought when you did that was when Jimmy Snooker did it in Madison Square Garden to Don Morocco. Yeah. So I'm like, wow. I said that that took back memories when that, we I saw that old school match between those two. So that yeah, was. When I, when I saw the No, it was it was amazing to see that man. Not too many people would take that risk uh, to win that title. You know what I mean? But you did, and you know, much respect to you for that. Um, Thank you. No, you're welcome. Uh, I know sometimes in the wrestling world you sustain injuries. You know, have you sustained any type of injuries in since you've been in wrestling? Yeah, uh, I, I sustained uh, two two big injuries. One for, against Vince Steele. He did the swan bomb on me, and uh, if you watch the video, you'll see he landed on my on my knee. Uh, I took my ankle. Um, I couldn't walk the next day. As a matter of fact, in that match, the adrenaline had me going. Uh, the adrenaline had me going. I had finished. The match was over. Got the victory. But you know, hours kicked in. I, I drove home. As soon as I got home, I collapsed. Ooh. Um, yeah, I collapsed. Couldn't walk. The next day, I called my mom. My mom called. Uh, she had to help me with everything that I had. Had to help me with my son. Um, everything. Cause it was dinner. I could walk the next day. And then I had another injury where I, I took it through my elbow. Um, it's still not the same. Um, but the, yeah, that was a tough one too. What kind yeah, of? Yeah, injury happened. It's a part of the game. <clears throat> no. I signed up for. I'm still. 
Oh, that's still going. Oh, that's absolutely, man. I, I I feel you on that. But what what type of training did you do though to f come out of those injuries to he get get healed up? Well, first you got to rest it, rest it for a long time. What the for the elbow I had to not the doctor came out and rest it for a while. Uh, but because you know, I couldn't even move very well. Uh, and eventually I started putting more strength on it, uh, more pressure, and, and uh, you know I'm, I'm doing pretty well and then the training is going on and uh, I start to grow. Ah, okay. But you do train regularly. Uh, you know what kind of training do you do? Like, is it? What do you What do you do to get ready for a match? What type of training do you do? Well, I train at the training center with one of my friends at the uh, CW Men's Match Training Center. That you know, Paulo, one of our guests is my mentor, my my teacher. He's the one that taught me everything right now. I'm part of Breath and Go. Um, I always train with him. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it's you know, food open for the students. Down here in Fort Lauderdale, or you know, if anybody wants to come a wrestler, uh, the championship wrestling is the place to do it. So that, that's what I think. I train all the time. I hit the road. Um, what, what else? I, I go to the gym often. You know, more than ever, I go to the gym now. You know, I, I look at myself, have a little belly, but uh, it's getting better by the week. <laughs> okay, no, that's good, man. That's good. You stay in shape. You continue training, and you do what you have to do. You know what I mean? Say any other questions you got for him, Jaden? Uh, well, do you have a favorite signature move or any type of finisher that you do? Besi well, the, the well, Mongoose the, the the Splash. Splash. So, yeah, is, do you have a favorite signature? It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I do the Arabian Backstabber, is what I call. Um, there's a lot of moves that I can finish with. It all depends on the situation, you know I can get a quick roll up, get the victory. I'm going to go for the quick roll up. I'm going to get the victory here. I don't know. Okay. Well, that, that's his signature move. <laughs> so, come June, we know that you're going to be there, and we're definitely going to be there watching you. Um, I know you're going to. I know you're psyched to find out who your opponent is, and I'm sure whoever's going to be your opponent is going to. You're going to give them a run for their money. It is because. Uh, I came out short on my last one, but, you know, I entertain them. I entertain the fans, the fans that join me. This time I'm going to put on a bigger show, and I'm going to do everything so I can get a victory. I cannot go over to a USA pro wrestling. So, June 29th, Orlando, Florida, get ready, it's chopping up on I guarantee you, when everything's all said and done, we're all going to be celebrating and dancing all night long. <laughs> Well, we'll be there. My son my son has one final question for you. Okay, go ahead, Jada. What advice would you give me or anyone wanting to wrestle? So, uh, if you want to wrestle, you know, if that's the dream, that's the goal. First off, you stay cool, finish your academic, and then I, as soon as you know, you're, you're ready to go to school. There's a lot of schools out there that train. There's a lot of options there for you. Uh, the first thing you do is you're gonna have to go to school and 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 go to school and be mind for it because it's not easy. What you see on TV, it's great. You're watching it, but the, the work, the, the the hard work that comes to it, to, to becoming a professional wrestler, is it, it's not easy. You, there's gonna be a lot of setbacks. There's gonna be a lot of um, a lot of stuff that's gonna get in the way, but you just gotta keep pushing forward. Come up with a good gimmick. Um, think of a name. All that will come in time, so just stay focused. Well, here you go. That sure answers your question, Jaden. Well, Cha Cha Charlie, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. We're definitely looking forward to seeing you June 29th. We will be there to watch the show, and believe me, we will be dancing and wearing your shirt and watching and cheering. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Um, for the fans that are watching, that subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Tucker Curly. Uh, I got all my matches there. I got a lot of other stuff like uh, a wrestling podcast, uh, a video blog. Uh, I also follow the wrestling match that I'm involved with. I put a little bit of everything. So, so follow, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and if you guys want to hit me up, 
Facebook, Chat Talk Charlie. Instagram is Chat Talk Time. There's a lot of ways you can get in contact with me. Absolutely. <laughs> contact me. I got you. You got it. All right, sir. Thank you for right, thank you for being here. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. <clears throat> yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, Cha Cha Charlie was on the show. Excellent interview. You know, uh, very entertaining. We're definitely gonna be watching him in June 29th. As you saw, he thanked Frank Goodman in USA Pro Wrestling. And a lot of people are looking for that match, Cha-Cha Charlie against Scott Steiner. And I hope Frank Goodman is listening to the fans and listening to that broadcast, this broadcast that Cha-Cha Charlie said. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, fans. <clears throat> Excuse me. 8 p.m. sharp. We're going to have our WrestleMania special with our guest, Brian. It's a show you are not going to want to miss. See you tomorrow, fans. Good night for myself, Jaden, and my producer, Jesenia De Leon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>